from Soko. So I wanted to ask you, can I ask him a question before you start? Soko Briefly. No, I'm just, uh, obviously, I am surprised that you are Unitarian because you were featured on Soko and Revelation as Little Bob. So I feel like, um, you know, although it's a different topic, do they know that you're Unitarian? No, they don't They know. didn't know you Unitarian? Not, no. So did you become Unitarian? Yeah, I came Unitarian quite quickly after realizing all verses I thought proved Jesus was God weren't true. I'm okay. seeing concepts that can cause problems to that. Now, um, let's review these concepts then. So, I mean, as somebody who believes in the Trinity, I do believe it's emphatically biblical. I believe Unitarian, Unitarianism really is a uh, 18th century uh, mock-up, really. Maybe a bit earlier, in fact. Not, I mean, not, not universalist, not universalist. Not universalist. Unitarian, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah, not no. Unitarian, biblical. Never universalist, never. Oh, yeah, well, never. well I believe yeah. it comes out of the 18th century. I don't believe it comes before that. Yeah, you, the Unitarian idea. You don't idea. see it as much, because actually, you know, you, actually you do have it a little bit. You know, it really springs up in the 18th century because pe the Trinitarians were killing Unitarians. A guy who wrote a book in Spain No, Trinitarians called... were killing Trinitarians. Did you know Martin? Well, the, the Waldensians were Trinitarians. Who? The, the, Waldensians, the Waldensians. They were Trinitarians. They and were the Albigensians were... Yeah. No, they were, they were killed by... Sorry, they were killed by the Catholic Church, which were obviously Trinitarian. Um, Oh. So yeah, when, when so we look here, there's a guy in Spain who wrote a book called "On the Errors of the Trinity," who was killed by the Trinitarian. Um, are, you, are you talking about Michael Cervantes? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. What you're talking about. Yeah. It was claimed that John Calvin killed him. It wasn't John Calvin killed, that killed him. It yeah, was actually that. the Catholic Inquisition. Yeah. <laughs> it was the Roman Catholics that had him killed. But, the, but to be fair, the not Roman because, Catholics had a lot of people killed yeah. that were Trinitarian. Not because <laughs> not, they didn't kill it. The Catholics didn't kill him. Not because the Catholics were Catholic, but because the Catholics are Trinitarian, they killed the Unitarian. No, I don't, I don't think that was the case. Because remember, no, the, the, the Roman Catholics, but historically, when we look at the histor history of it, during Reformation, because a lot of individuals were beginning to read the Bible of their own, they were killed for just doing that. Martin Luther was a Trinit was a, sorry, he was a Trinitarian, oh, yeah. and yet they wanted to have him killed. The Diet of Worms, not they wanted to have him killed. Not because he was Trinitarian, not because of his beliefs on the, uh, the oneness or... It, it wasn't specifically for that, but it was because of an That's aversion to the Roman Michael Catholic Church. Savitas. That's what happened with him. That, that was what happened with him. Yeah. That, that, look, we, we, we can agree to that. Yeah. I understand. There's also this wife's tale, this old wife's tale that Calvin had him killed, which is a lie. We don't really see it historically that John Calvin had anybody killed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah. Are you a Calvinist? Uh, no, I'm not a Calvinist. You don't uh, subscribe to those ideas. I'm sort of in the middle between Arminianism and Calvinism at this moment. Like, in time. Do you relate to, like, who do you have most in co things in common with? But, um, um, I would say yeah. Johann Gerhard. I would say uh, more so like William Wesley. And I would say even the Anglican tradition, like John Hooker and stuff like that. You know I feel I have most in common with? Who? Jesus Christ and the Apostles. That's brilliant. So do I. So do I. And, and I wouldn't claim I don't. I, yeah. I see how you tried to do a one shot there, it didn't work. I, I, I wasn't meant to be a joke or like embarrassed, it was just like who I try to build it on. Of, of course, every Last Christian church. tries to do that. Yeah. And I, w I wouldn't once claim that I'm not trying to build it on church. This is why I'm not going to go to any of those individuals for the Trinity. I'm going to go, I'm going to, go to the Bible. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is. Yes, yes. This is Islamic predestination. So, on. first, I want to hear your, your arguments for the Unitarian. Uh, presupposition of the Bible, and then we can get into the angel of the Lord, uh, such texts in the Old Testament. The spirit, and the yes, okay. I'm going to go for the book of John first, if you want. Are you happy or are you, are you noted? Yeah, with the yeah book, book of John? John, yeah. Okay, so I want to start with this, right? In our okay, en ho logos, right? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Yeah. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him and went about him. Nothing was made that was made. Yes. And it was life, and a life was the light for men and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Now, verse three says that all things were made from him. If, he, if Jesus Christ by nature, or by necessity was created, why do you think the Bible would state that all things were created through him? So what's the word from through him there? Is it the word diar in Greek? Because that word can be used because of him or for the sake of him. That's what happens in, um, what was it again? Um, Colossians 1.16 and um, also Hebrews 1.2. Colossians, yeah. And also, don't forget, Jesus was a part of the plan of the word. The Logos is the plan, the idea well, from the beginning. The, the problem with saying it was just an idea, and my friend, sorry to cut you off, by yeah. the way, but the issue of saying it was an idea is that Hebrews 1.8-12 to clearly tells us that it, it calls Jesus God, first of all and states that he laid the foundations of the earth, meaning he had to have some sort of preeminence. Again, with Colossians 2.9, it states clearly 
or sorry, Colossians 2.19 says clearly that in Jesus Christ dwells the fullness of deity bodily. Yes. We okay. find the same language, of course, used in Colossians 1.15. Actually, Colossians 2.9 isn't that bit of the fullness of the Godhead, the mystery of G in Jesus Christ. That's not in the earliest manuscripts, though. What manuscripts have you got? The Sinaiticus. I, I turned, put the oh. Greek in. Okay, so the Sinaiticus, unfortunately, if you look at the Bobensis, have you heard of uh, Codex Bobensis? I don't know, what, and, what's that, and when was it made? Oh yeah, so the Codex from Benzis is more so like, I think it's a third century document. Oh, okay. And then you've got, of course, various sort of like, manu not manuscripts, what are they called? Like little scriptures. Papyrus, papyrus, papyrus. Papyrus, yeah, because papyrus over time degenerates. What you have is little papyrus entries that we found of the early church fathers. And yeah. when you look at these the early church fathers, they in fact quote from that same verse and, and claim that it's him who's, who's stating that um, the fullness of deity dwells in the uh, body. Yeah, I think now, you may not trust the early church. I don't deny you do that. But I, I trust I would... them on some things. Yeah. I ignore them. It's how they get their knowledge on some things that I ignore and don't trust them on. So I'm... I mean, I wouldn't say they're perfect either. But that's where me and you come to the perfect. conclusion. They weren't really perfect. But I would say in this case, there is more than a consensus where even the enemies of Christ couldn't deny the divinity of him. For example, when um, Irenaeus is writing against Valentinius, Valentinius, in his doctrines, according to Irenaeus, clearly espouses that Christ is God. They use his terms for Ignatius God. believed in two gods in a dialogue of Trifo, chapter 56. Oh, 56, wow. Well. Yeah, and then had um, a Trinitarian view a lot later, I found out. Oh, Ignatius, well, I mean, Ignatius, sorry, I mean, here's the thing. His if, idea about the Godhead developed, like Joseph Smith. Like, like that. that's yeah, he interesting. Was, he had Trinitarian <laughs> views in the earliest copies of the Book of Mormon, and then he changed it to have a, a non-Trinitarian. Well, one. I've actually done a study on Ignatius, so if you want me to run through that, yeah. I can quickly do that. I did go through uh, Jesus as God, but I couldn't go through this quickly. So, Jesus Je was the scepter of the kingdom. Yeah. Most of it was he, and he let in, you in the beginning. Uh, oh, the, oh, the beginning. I think the beginning. Yeah. Like, what was it again? In Adam and Eve, when it talks about them and their beginning. Oh, it mentions Adam and Eve. Well, about the, their in beginning. the beginning, it's in our page. Yeah. Yeah. So there is no presupposition. Good to see you, man. Good to see yeah. you, man. How you doing? Oh, oh, all good. Oh, yeah. All good. If you want to have a conversation, we can later on because I've got to try. And, I'm talking to you Unitarian right now, so. <laughs> you didn't expect that. Yeah, I became Unitarian yeah. over. It became. Some time. Yeah. <laughs> so we're we're doing that right now. But I just want to show yeah. you this. So again, you 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 made the claim, of course, which is unfounded by history, by the way. Yeah. This letter, that Epistle to Ephesians, by the way. So. As you know, Ignatius was writing seven epistles to seven different churches. Did you know that? I, I didn't know that, no. Yeah, so he, he does that. So this is the official to the Ephesians. He says, There is one physician who is possessed both of flesh and spirit, both made and not made, God existing in flesh, true life in death, both of Mary and of God, first possible and then impossible. Jesus was God at one Even point. Jesus Christ our Lord. So this is Ignatius yeah. clearly I stating I, I that Jesus Christ didn't. is God. I just said at one point he did say there were two gods and then he says that there were... But Ignatius. then why don't you affirm there's two gods if we're going to take that to its lowest common denominator? Oh, no, I'm just giving like an example of like a fun fact I knew about him. Oh, oh, should we get back to, we get <laughs> yeah, back let's, to the Bible? Let's get to the Bible. Let's go back okay. because the church fathers aren't going to help you. <laughs> let's go. I'm not, they're, not, they're not meant to. They're not meant to. Oh, oh good, good, good. Because they're not going to. Okay. <laughs> they're good for the reliability of the Old Testament, but I don't agree with them in everything. They say the Exodus Pharaoh drowned, some of them, when um, that can't have happened. It's how they got the knowledge. I mean, the Bible does clearly state that the, the waters collided over them. Doesn't I don't know if it was a pharaoh though. Doesn't say about the pharaoh, no, no, no. Doesn't mention a pharaoh, let's no, I can agree with that. All right, let, let's, get back to, let's get back to John. Let's go back to yeah. John. Let me, let me get back to my document, which I've lost. Oh, yeah, so in fact, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the various passages that I think affirm that Jesus Christ is God. Perfect. We're gonna we're gonna go there. This is here in John 1:30. John 1:30. So we, we as we went there before we, we noticed that the word NRK and the logos is used in John 1. NRK, if you take it, it's mean it's literal meaning. It means in a beginning. It's, the beginning is not specified. Yeah. So if you look at the actual Greek, the beginning or the RK is not specified. James White mentions his book on the Trinity. In fact, I should suggest you get it. Uh, yeah. So RK would obviously preclude that this word, this word that Jesus Christ must not have a beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we, we agree with that point. Let's let's continue. But Jesus on. Mike Christ must not have a bit. Well, no, he, him in flesh had a beginning. He was a created. The human nature, I think Trinitarians would agree, isn't eternal. But yeah, no, no, no. We would agree that human nature is not eternal. 
And we yeah. don't agree that the natures themselves are co-mixed because that posits another contradiction. Uh, yeah. 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 So, like, yeah. But uh, to, to continue, right? So can John, I talk about John 1 3. John oh, 1 John 1 3. 3. You want to go to John 1 3? Okay. So, I think when it says all things, what, what, say the verse. Okay, so the verse is John 1 3. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the verse is this. In the beginning was the word. I'm going to read from verse 1 all the way to 1 3. Just go 3. Just do oh, three. just 3. Okay. Yeah. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was nothing made that was made. Okay, so the word for him can also mean it, basically. It can mean it. Hmm. The word, it's the word was made for God. When God spoke, he said, let there be light. Those were, it came through. His, God's words are very special. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 15 to 18 says, Jehovah, this is about Jesus, you agree? So again. Deuteronomy 18, 15 to 18, the prophet among like Moses, that's Jesus. Yes, yes. He says, I shall put my words, in, his, in the Septuagint, the word for word there is non-plural word, Rhea, yeah. I shall put my word in the Septuagint in his mouth. Hmm. Yeah, what? so the, what, he was a part of the word, the plan, and Jesus spoke the word and humbled himself. And so I, I, mentioned, I, I noticed you mentioned that the word uses in it, so, but I can show you other passages in the Bible, for example, where God's calling it. For example, in, in, in 1 John 5.20, the yeah. word it is used of God the Father. Now, you and I wouldn't say that God the Father is an it, would we? I guess and in John, in, in John, in John, yeah. so in John yeah. 8, uh, verses 16 to 17, the Lord the Father is referred to as an anthropos, a man. Did you know that? Look, look yeah. in the, I want you to do is look in the Greek, a blue letter Bible, look it up yourself, don't take my word for it. Go to John, John 8, verses 16 to 17. Okay. When you, when you go to that, you'll see that the fervors referred to as a witness or an amphiphon or an amphiphos. Yeah, okay. And that word it. used in the Bible is used for a man. And uh, actually because I am, uh, uh, me, me for uh, 17, let's get a verse 17, it says. There are two witnesses. Bible have a, you don't believe me? Ask the guy who called me. Okay, so let's find it. Okay, interlinear. Yeah, yeah and go to the interlinear. In the, in the law of you and the, the, men, the, the men. I can't find it here. You can't find it there. Let me go to myself. Maybe. Should we do 1 John 5.20? Uh, yeah, go to 1 John 5.20 and I'll quickly go to the interlinear here because I've got it on my phone. I would suggest getting um, the, in the blue letter Bible because there's so much Greek on it, you don't even have to use like Google. I'm uh, learning New Testament Greek. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, That's a really good. I'm reading some Greek. I can, I can read the alphabet okay. So it says here, um, it's not the Son of God has given us so that we may, so we may know him who is true and we are him, the Son of him. The Son of God is come and has given us so that we may know so him. So look, 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 this is what it says, Anthropos. So it's Tom. in John 8, 17. The word is torn. Uh, is, uh, going off, we're going off topic. Like, uh, let's, let's stay on topic. Let's stay, stay on topic. All right. Talk. So we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Let's, let's just stay on topic. So we, the topic was to remind you again. I was claiming that the father is called an anthropos. I said anthropon. Sorry, I meant anthropos. The word used there in John 17. Can you read that out for me? Uh, John 17. Uh, point which one? Okay, so it's here. Um, yeah. So anthropos. Anthropos. Yeah. That means yeah. men, right? The father, Jesus refers to the Father as a man here. He says, it is written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am the one that bear witness of myself and the Father that sent me bear witness of me. Now, by your logic, if we were to say that, for, sorry, if we were to say that John 1, verse 1, 1 to 3 is came in that Jesus is an it, then this Bible also has to refer to the Lord God as a man. Anthropon. Yeah, Anthropon. A man, humankind. Yes. A man, man, like for example, God created man. It doesn't necessarily mean he created men only, but like mankind. Oh, I'm not denying that. I'm claiming, I mean, look. That's an idea, that's the, co the idea. The, the whole point is, if, if God is called in other passages, like 1 John 20, sorry, yeah. 1 John 5, 20, and John 8, 17, sorry, 16, 17, a man, if he's called a man, yeah. then we can't, of course, use language to make a statement about what's claimed it. We have to look at the context. You understand what I'm Yeah. The context is the word becomes flesh. John 1.14. Where was the word before? The word was in arcade. 
the word was begin was before time. I hope I'm not losing it. The word wasn't a person, it was the plan. And the word came into through Jesus and he had his words. So uh, God, would God call a plan God? God called it, the plan was godly. Well, actually, the, the Greek doesn't necessarily say imply because the definite article is used. Jehovah's Witnesses say that that could mean and the word was a God. But a better way to translate it, as a, a bit, as a, a, bit a, a scholar of the Hebrew Bible has noted, that it's, um, it should be translated as and the word was divine. Or, or was godly, or maybe not as godly. As I, I, but that seems a lot of stuff that the Bible isn't claiming. Now I want, I want to move away from that because I, I don't think we've got to a point here. But I do believe that if you consider that Jesus is in it by using the term "I'm" used in the old in the Old Testament, sorry, in the New Testament, then you have to infer, of course, that Jesus, that God is a man, and you don't believe God the Father is a man, do you? No, I don't believe okay. he's a man. What is he a man? This. Uh, well, yeah, he's called a man by Jesus Christ himself. Remember, we're going to the words of Jesus. Remember, wait, wise guy, you said earlier but that you know, I follow Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ called God a man. No, I'm not a Hold on a second. Do you believe God is, that the Father is a man? Do I believe the Father is a man? No, I believe the Father nature. is spirit. But I know the context. You see, context is king. And when we read the Bible, we have to read in context. But I'm going to go, but I'm yeah. going to go beyond here, right? To John 5, which I think, I think is the strongest statements made by Jesus Christ of his deity. I want you to notice something. This is John 5, 17 to 19. But Jesus answered them, My father has been working until now, and I have been working. Therefore the Jews sought all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but also said that God was his father, making himself equal with God. Now I want to stop there. What do you think Jesus meant by God is my father, if he was only meaning that, like the Israelites, he is a child to the, the God the Father? Remember, they wouldn't have tried to attack him or consider him blasphemy if he wasn't claiming anything other than deity. Because he's saying he's equal in authority, are you saying? Like, for example, he has the authority to um, not work on the Sabbath. His father has the authority to not be bound uh, to work on the Sabbath specifically. Jesus has been given the permission. Like but all men must keep the Sabbath, right? All men, except for those who God has given permission. Oh, just blur my face that when that happens. <laughs> yeah, given permission that they uh, don't need to keep it, for example. Like um, Jesus was given permission to forgive sins. When God usually it doesn't say he's given permission to give sins. Can you show me that from the Bible? Well, it doesn't need to be. Can I explain? So, okay, you know, yeah, please explain that. Okay, John 20, 23, it says that the disciples, it indicates they were given permission to forgive sins and they would be forgiven. Right. And so my interpretation is when Jesus says in Mark chapter 2, verse 7, that he's able to forgive sins, that's because the Father's given him permission, just like how Jesus... Like how he doesn't disciples. say that, he... Maybe you can infer that he gave the permission I infer, to... The, I infer, it's not just to say exactly, but, but I infer. the problem the inference, the inference doesn't make sense to what Jesus said of himself. Jesus says he's been given authority. He doesn't say I've been given a permission. He's For example, a, oh, sorry, I, if, if authority, I... Permission yeah, authority, permission to have the authority. It doesn't say permission to have the authority either. Yeah, that's an idea. Like, he's been given the authority, like he didn't have it at one point. Then he was given the permission. He wasn't given a permission. You, you keep using the word permission here. It's not used. Sorry, authority. He was given authority, like he didn't have it at one point. Then he was given the authority. Okay, so if, somebody give, if I give somebody the authority to mow my lawn, let's say in this great example, I give somebody the authority to mow my lawn. Yeah. Is, is, there any, is there any way possible that they couldn't mow my lawn before? But, yeah, no, they couldn't because they haven't been uh, given the authority to do so before. No, but, but if they wanted to, could they have mowed my lawn? Well, they would have had to first have asked. No, but, but in, in this case scenario I'm talking about, let's say you haven't yeah. given me permission to enter your house. I enter your house. Yeah, I haven't given you permission. Does that mean you you've given to, me the ability you have to, to be do given so? given the permission first. But that, you're not getting a point. So, it's best to not if I, Here's the thing, right? If I go into your house, you've not given me permission. I still have the ability to do so, so I walk in your house. Did, did you give me the ability to walk into your house? No, I didn't give you the. Uh, oh, I didn't give you. The, the, I didn't give you the ability. Oh, thank you. you still thank could you. have gone in there. So in the same way, Jesus is given the authority to do something, even though he has the ability to do it. Jesus has the ability to forgive sins. Where does he say he always had the ability to forgive sins? Say again. Where does it say he was given the ability, um, or I guess, um, always had the ability to forgive sins? No, this is precluded from the text. Because the text does not say he didn't have the ability to do it. It says he was given the authority to do it. If I give the authority... <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> I thought someone was going to be attacked. If, if, <laughs> sorry. But if, if I said to... The, the fact is, if I give you the ability to do something, yeah. I've given you the ability within your body to do something. 
if I give you the authority to do something, I'm presupposing you can already do that thing. So if I say mm -hmm. mow my lawn, yeah. I'm presupposing you've got arms and legs to mow my lawn. You understand? In the not. same way, Jesus is given the authority, not because he doesn't have the ability to forgive sins, but because the, the Lord Father, the maker of heaven and earth, is the author. He's the one that subsists beyond Jesus Christ and the Spirit. Yeah. Not, not, not in nature, Go not in nature, life, mate. That's loads of but rubbish. the role is different. Uh, sorry, sorry, could you not interrupt? Could you not, I don't have to touch, I don't want to touch, you're probably disgusting. <laughs> We're having a conversation and you've come over to interrupt because you have a demon in you. I don't have anything. You do? Come on, come on, just focus on me. Just focus yeah, so on me. The, the whole point is, obviously, we have an authority, ability, distinction. Yeah, you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, so okay. he's, he's he always had the authority, are you saying? He's always, he's always had the ability, but not always the well, authority on earth. Well, forgiving sins is a spiritual thing. It's not a physical thing. Of course, yeah. It's a spiritual thing, yes. So if someone can say they can, does it mean they will if it's physical, for example? Yes, and I, just if I, can say, if I can say I can mow your lawn, but I don't do it, that doesn't mean I don't have the ability to do it. It just means I well, didn't do it. If you're mowing your lawn is spirit is in a spiritual thing, for example, like how forgiving sins would be. Yes, and it's a spiritual thing. And I believe because yeah. the Lord Jesus Christ is NRK, he can always forgive sins. The ability is always there. Yeah. But the Bible says in, in the Old Testament in Isaiah that God is the God of all flesh. So if God is the God of all flesh, what is Jesus Christ when he comes down? Is he gonna be is he gonna be an atheist? No, of course he isn't. No, 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 no. He's no, gonna no. be subject to Lord who's the Lord of all flesh yeah. because he has a human nature. And this is the this is what the church fathers taught for at least oh, two thousand years. But loads of shit, mate. Please, we're having a conversation. Yeah, we're having a Hello, conversation. Bob. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're having a conversation. I'm not even talking I, to I you. I don't mate. care if you're talking to me. I'm, we're having a conversation. Are you not talking so you're gonna to learn you? to be quiet. Oh, learn to be quiet. Go really? and troll somewhere else. Really? Yes, really. Speak as corner. Yeah, and? I can send wherever I want, mate. Yeah, and I've told you, go, on, go and troll somewhere else. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'll stand here. <laughs> Perfect. Do you, do you want to move somewhere else? Yeah, exactly. Because this guy's got a, a just, stick up his ass. Should we just ignore him? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we we'll yeah. ignore him. He just wants to be a parrot. He just wants to mouth off. That's what his God does. Exactly. Okay, yeah. okay, so Is this work, what man. your God teaches you to do? I don't have a God. You don't have a God? That makes sense. I don't, <laughs> that makes I don't sense. believe in fairy tales, mate. Oh, thing, but, yeah. but you, you're wearing all this and looking at me like, oh man, come on. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> you look like homosexual. Let's get back on track. So let's get, just get back on, on track. Get on with it. Don't talk to me. Just mate, me. you're wearing tights in the middle of winter. Are we gonna, are we... You're scaring no, me, dude. I'm are, thinking are you might be a rapist. Hey, bro, bro. No, 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 no. Don't touch me. Where is Amy? Tied to rapists. Are we gonna... That's your god, isn't it? Really? Yeah, not me. Okay, no. Yeah, all right. So yeah, that was that was the point. Okay. That, that because Jesus Christ is from the before the foundation of the world, he can therefore forgive sins, and that's not a problem for us. It's a spiritual thing. Yeah. So I'm... I don't know why this camera's facing, so I'm gonna try and keep it within the direction it needs to be. So should we uh, get back on uh, back on track? So back on track. I mentioned John five. Right, yeah. I mentioned that the, 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 sorry, the, the Pharisees wanted to stone Jesus or they accused him of blasphemy. They didn't want to stone him, but they, they accused him of blasphemy in this uh, verse, yeah. right? So you claimed that the reason why they, they did that is because he was claiming equality with God. The issue is the Old Testament tells us in Isaiah 48, sorry, Isaiah 42 verse 8, that God gives his glory to nobody. So if you follow your argument, it, it naturally presupposes that God did do that. And if he did do that, that would make God a hypocrite. Now, I don't believe that God is a hypocrite or a liar. I just believe he's consistent. And that God has always had the ability to do these things. Yeah, God's always had the ability to do these things. Of course, I yeah. Think, yeah. But I guess if Jesus was God, he'd have the ability um, beforehand. But he still, he'd have to be uh, given uh, authority and permission. He has to be given it. He's getting you it You keep using the term of, uh, permission. I don't know where you keep getting that from. Authority, the permission to have the authority to do so. Okay, all right. the Son of Man has authority on the, on the earth to give sins, does not imply he's been given it. Yes, if I, That's what Mark get, Matthew no, 9 said. He said he's been given. Uh, do you want me to show you it? Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Let's, let's go to Matthew 9 because I don't. I don't. Mark 2, Mark 2, 7. Okay, Mark two, seven. Ma Matthew 9 is quoting the same sort of verses anyway. Okay. Uh, and I think Mark, Matthew 9 sort of expands it. What are you discussing about? She's, uh, gonna get, she's gonna get attacked. Her. She's putting herself in a very uh, yeah, yeah. She is unfortunately. She, she's gonna, she's yeah, so I'm having a discussion with him about Jesus. She, she, yeah. She's putting so herself in a no, no offense, but I don't want to change the subject. I'm just having a yeah. discussion with him about she, Jesus. She's putting herself in a position where I'm she's like, gonna yeah, get yeah. Attacked. I know, I know. That, that's the thing. She I wouldn't does do that all those time. sorts yeah. of things to start shouting. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the verse where he actually forgives the sins, and then we're going from there. And yeah, so 
So that, that's what it says. And it's, this, is, this is in Matthew 9, verse 6. But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. So he doesn't say he's been given this okay, power. Okay. He says he has this power, which naturally precludes that he's already had the authority to do it. Yeah. Okay. And again, I believe authority does not, does not change ability, as I mentioned to you before. Mm -hmm. And I hope you look these words up because they're, they're two distinctive things. Authority does not apply ability. If okay. I give you authority to okay. mow my lawn, that doesn't mean you didn't have the ability to do so in the first place. That's uh, that's really, literally the point. Knowing the law is not a spiritual thing, like our forgiving sins. No, these analogy. are not the same things, it's not but the there's best still. analogy. I've got to be honest. I'm using an analogy to refer to something that's outside of the purview of natural reasoning, my friend. Can't try and keep up. Okay. <laughs> it's like yeah, when we going. talk about God, we're talking about the mysteries anyway. It doesn't matter whether yeah. you refer to Revelation or not. So yeah, that's that's the point I tried to make. Right? You can't already have the ability. Well, I guess if you're not God, you already have the ability to forgive sins. For example, because it's a spiritual thing. You have the ability to climb up. He the said he has the authority to do so, implying that he must be God. Forgiving when sins and transgressions is a God's own ability. It's not, it's not for man alone to forgive sins. The Old Testament tells us that God will share his glory with nobody. Or share his glory with nobody. Like so I, now I want to move on to the next verse because obviously yeah, sure. that, that verse yeah, is not doing anything. So in, in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse uh, 19, Jesus says, I've been given authority. Remember the word authority used here is obviously referring to Jesus' human nature. Should we look for uh, that verse? Let's, let's look at a verse. Matthew 19. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Sorry, Jesus. Matthew 28, 19. The name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, that for me is evidently a show of the Trinity. Because remember, then in the name of something, if you read King James language, or even Victorian language, if I were to support in the name of your household, I, that would be a authoritative distinction for me. So let's say in the name of the Tudors, I give the, I send this letter. Yeah. I, I have to be a part of the household to do so. In, in, in Genesis chapter 48, verse 16, 15, you'll find the words, in the name of uh, the land of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. I, I think that's the names. Yeah, but that's what you'll find that in Genesis. Let's not get too off track. If you want to go back to that, I don't, no, I, I'm not going off track at all. I'm okay. a, you, you mentioned the Old oh, Testament. Fine, fine. I, I, if, you want, if you want to focus on it a bit more, we can. Yeah, I that, just that's briefly right. mentioned it. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know how that gets Unitarianism because remember the, the, the conversation we're having is about but whether the Bible really teaches that just Unitarianism. Just because something is in the name of something, it doesn't prove that that those people are, are God. So like, but it proves example, that that which you makes you in the name of non-godly beings, yeah. like in. But it proves that that which makes you born again, according to John three verse three. That, that baptism you have to engage with can only be done in this formula, in the okay. name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That name we find out in the, in the book of Acts is Jesus Christ. Because I believe, as most Trinitarians do, that the word used there implies a distinctive term used for the entire body of Christ. Or the so, God. Matthew 28, 19, he says, and teaching them everything. Where's the bit where he says he's been given authority? Oh, sorry, it's 19. Sorry, I said 28, 19. 19, 19 not 19. Left for going... Make disciples of all nations, baptize. I don't see the authority. Do you mean 18? Um, uh, oh, I found it. Okay. Is it 18? I have lost. Uh, this right. is what I mean. After years of reading the Bible, you just don't get verses correct all the time. But all yeah. authority has been given to me. Let's read. All authority, yes. When Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth is there, has is been focusing? given. Okay. Has been given, yeah. So, so all authority. Hold on, what's here? All authority in heaven and earth has been given. Yeah. Let's read what that says. Like he would have to have, to be able to do these things, he would have had to have had them beforehand. Let's uh, let's go to our. It's Strong's Greek, 1,425. It says, "I uh, the word for have been given is means uh, I offer, give, I put, place, um, to and give and this be translation allow." Bestow, cause, command, dealing, gave, hmm. permitted. Hmm. Hey, permission. Yeah. I mean, we're not, the, the, here's the thing as Trinitarians wouldn't deny that because we, of course, know that God, when he entered flesh, took on a human nature. So, yeah. of course, the authority that happens happens when he's glorified. Yes, Jesus Christ it has says, to be given to him. Jesus, yeah. Christ says, permission. He, Jesus Christ says in the book of John that all authority has been given to him. But, but also, he also says that. Um, Father, glorify me the same way as you, uh, as I glorified you, or something yeah. along those lines. I, I haven't got that 100% correct, but he says, Father, now glorify me. This glorification happens while he's on earth. Okay. And even, even, even in the new, in, sorry, some passages in the Catholic epistles, if you read them, what I mean by the Catholic epistles is just the uh, books of 
uh, 1 Corinthians, 2 Cor You know what I'm talking about, right? It's, I, I think it's... Like, the Catholic say it's, uh, Yeah, so in 1 Corinthians, I think it's mentioned. Uh, so, Paul says that Jesus was made a, a, a prince and a saviour. That doesn't mean he was made in his ontological sense. What we mean by that, as Philippians 2, 6 to 11 states, right? But Jesus Christ thought of no authority to be made lower than the angels. Now, he had to have been in a position above the angels before that. There's, there's no way to deny that. That's, who being in the form of God thought of no ashamement to be made lower than the angels. So in the form of God, this is understood that the Jews were in the form, he carried out the will of his father and had the authority like how God did, which had been given to him, so he was the perfect representation of God the Father. But it doesn't say that though. It it's says indicate, more, indicate, exegesis. Not really. It's an so, exegesis, not a nice exegesis. So the, the, more, the word morpho used in there literally means the form of. No. The mirror of. Oh, ooh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Where's Amy? Come on, man. Ah, okay, so um, do you know yeah. the word? Should we look for the word uh, I'm just gonna hold mor it. morphe? Yeah, morphe. Okay. There's something That's interesting the word about used in word. Philippians 2, 6 to 11. Oh, yeah. Now, that obviously means the form of. If I'm in the form of something, that and that implies God, that has to be necessity to be God, otherwise you'd have to claim that Paul's morphe. Line. Do you want to look for the word morphe? It means here outward appearance. No, it doesn't just mean that. No, it can. Form, shape, I think you've got a, a weird Strong's concordance there. So I'll, I'll oh, bring Strong's up my one. Strong's concordance, so outward appearance. Oh, that, that, Jesus I think Christ that might be a Unitarian one. <laughs> Nah, okay. come on, man. This is not I, the REV translation. I don't know what translation you've got, mate. No, that doesn't make any sense to me. Come on, that's man. Not... It, uh, you'll see it. Oh, look. Helps them. Says properly form. Form is complete with harmony of the inner essence. So Jesus had the outward form of the Father God by doing his will and having the authority given to him. Um, no, that's mission. an assumption making. So I, I, I want to go to actually word, which is more faith. I can promise you. Promise you. I'll show you on other websites. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Take your time. I promise you. Uh, let's be... Uh, yeah. We're being in the form of God. So we're going to go to the interlinear. Uh, the word morphe. I'm going to go to the word morphe. Strong's concordance. I'm literally going to the word morphe. I don't know why it's not letting me do it. We're being in the form of God. Okay, I'll show you another. Bible tools. Uh, Probably strong. another Unitarian sort. No, come on, man. You can't just do this. It's just like I'm literally just going okay. to the actual well, I'm saying, like, just saying that has, that could be Unitarian. It's like me going, um, oh, wow, I don't trust uh, the Guardian or the BBC on another topic. Well, you don't trust there. the church fathers only when they suit your opinion, mate. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of well, like... how they get the knowledge. I'm trying to get Morphe up. It's not letting me. So, I'm going to have to just wait. I'm being a fool of God. Because this interlinear normally works. I don't know why it's not working now. Strong's Greek. Let me get the Greek. I'll say, so as a date of singular, the word morphe. Okay, this is what... The form by which oh, a person whoa, or yes. thing strikes the vision. Oh, yeah. So, even if you were to claim this external appearance, that doesn't matter, because the term used here is, a, is also a definition here, which means the form by which a person or thing strikes the, thing, the, strikes the vision. And also here, in the Greek concordance, which I'm going to get up, um, I'm, I'm, okay, finally. We, hear, we see here in Judges, so for example, then, so the word is used plenty of times. At the same time, my reason returned unto me. This is Daniel uh -huh. 4, 36. Uh -huh. At the same time, my reason returned unto me. For the glory of my kingdom, mine honour, my brightness returned unto me. And my counsellors and, and my laws I sought unto me. And I was established in the kingdom, and excellency and majesty was added unto me. There's, pre there's plenty of other words okay, in which this so is here, used. And I've got all of them up the, here. The Greek for morphe means outward external appearance. Outward is a synonym of external. So, do you, so hold on, if you take your interpretation, let's just, just go for your interpretation. This is a scholarly if, interpretation let's, by let's, people who wrote this. Fine, that's fine. Let's, let's go with your scholarly interpretation. Yeah. I've already read out what it states. Then you have to believe that Jesus was in the outward, outward appearance of God, which, by the way, the Old Testament tells us that can't be the case because there is only one God. Yeah, but it, doesn't, you don't, it can't, doesn't mean you have to be God to have the outward appearance, to have the authority. Can I give you an example, like in Genesis 32, verse 4? If you four, can give an example where that word is used, of God, and yeah. implies that it's not speaking about God, then you would have won the debate. Come to the light, brother. I'm a Unitarian, yes. <laughs> How are you? So, I, I don't know, I haven't actually, I don't know, it doesn't mean there isn't of that exact number, but I can give you an example of the, um, so? for example... The light has come. Yes. Light. <laughs> Big light, man. <laughs> Big light. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know he's, me, yeah. let's, let's not change what we're talking about. He's so what, was, what were you saying? Yeah, Max I know he's Unitarian. I'm a liar. No, no, he's the liar. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. So, um, 
In Genesis. Okay, okay. Just don't be distracted. Let's just okay, stay focused. <laughs> Gen Please come on, hold on. So Genesis 32 verse 4, it states about um, how God fought to get. Oh, sorry, not sorry. Genesis. Uh, Je please come bro, bro, on. No please, offense, but you're interrupting on. him. Come on. No, I'm, I'm, We're having a conversation. Genesis, right, let's go. sorry. Not. You should be quiet. Uh, please come on. Look, uh, please okay, I think we're gonna have to move in a moment. Did you want to move? Yeah, I think. Let's move. Let's move. I did not say I wanted to talk. Come on, bro. Yeah, okay. Corner, 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 corner. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. All right. I, 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 I am generally interested in having this conversation. I don't want it to uh, be uh, appended by Mohammedan fools. So, <laughs> like, okay. um, I don't want it to be upended by Mohammedan fools. So, I mean, uh, yeah, Mohammedan fools. Genesis, not verse four. Genesis thirty-two, verse twenty-eight to. Verse 30, this the is not the angel form. of the Lord. Jacob wrestles against uh, God, it states. Hmm. Hosea, chapter 12, verse 4. It states that he wrestled against the angel. Yes, the all appearances angel. of Jesus Christ. Well, no, that's Amen. not Jesus Christ, though. It oh, yeah, say, it it's not the, even the angel of the Lord, well, for example. Ma Micah 5 1 says that the angel of the Lord shall, or the angel of the covenant shall come to his temple. That Jesus Christ says in John 2:19. I think it's John 2.19. He literally states that destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. So it's evidently okay. clear that his body is the temple of God or the spirit. And we wouldn't argue. Here's the thing. We wouldn't argue as, unit, as, as Christians, sorry, not as Unitarians, I'm not Unitarian, as, you, as Trinitarian Christians. Light. What light? There's no light there. Oh. It wasn't my mistake. Yes. No, no, I know it wasn't your mistake. Oh. Yeah, this is ridiculous. She's got, so Amy's gone... This is Amy's phone, not mine. Luckily, it's not mine.